Well, hello everyone. It's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys your Divine Masculine weekly forecast. So today's theme is what karmic cycles are ending. So I do tend to channel for those that are experiencing either a separation or a challenge in your connection. So please keep that in mind and only take what resonates for you and get rid of anything that doesn't. All the decks I'll be using here today are created by myself and will be listed down below. And this beautiful organite will also be down below. This is called the um, Earth Sign Element Nude created by Michelle from Bell's Wing and Bell. So anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and get started with this reading. The very first question we're going to ask Spirit is... What karmic cycle is your divine masculine working on releasing at this present time? So what does this look like today? What karmic cycle is your divine masculine currently releasing at this time? All right, let's take a look at this. Karmic cycle. Ooh, we have the Ten of Spades, which says Dark Knight of the Soul, Wolf in Sheep's Clothing, Let Down, Closing Act. So this is like a Ten of Swords energy to me. So I do feel like maybe some kind of situation has ended for this Divine Masculine. And unfortunately for him, though, it has been a painful ending. That's the only thing. But sometimes, you guys, where there's no pain, there's no gain. So I'm getting that here for this particular Masculine, okay? It may be that something that he thought was going to work out, something maybe that he wanted to happen karmically, it was not supposed to, in order for him to learn a very valuable lesson, okay? Sometimes the Ten of Swords can also be connected to people that, you know, stab you in the back. So there could be a payback if this masculine has done somebody dirty and done somebody wrong. I am getting here that this particular karma has come back at him in some sort of way that's caused an ending in his life. So let's now go into my Twin Flame Journey Shadows Oracle and see what else. Let's see what else is at the base of this particular karmic cycle. Ooh, wow, that was a lot. But we're just looking for one. We have pitiful. Wow, tragic, pathetic, and sad. Okay, so I do feel that maybe if some of you guys have heard that something terrible or tragic has actually happened in the masculine's life, it's not like you're just sitting there going, oh, good, I'm really glad that this thing has happened to you. It may be that, you know, you do in, you do feel badly. You know, you don't necessarily want to see anyone suffer, even though it is during that dark night of the soul that you are going to learn a lot about yourself. You're going to be humbled. You're going to see things a lot more clearly in a state of pain, unfortunately, right? And we all kind of have our time. And so I do feel like this particular masculine is going through something where he might actually kind of be in this pitiful stage where, you know, we do feel very sad and might almost like kind of look borderline pathetic, like, wow, you know, this is really tragic. But I do feel like this masculine has to learn in this particular way, okay? So let's now go into my Dark Knight of the Soul Tarot. But remember, this is a karmic cycle that is closing. So something quite painful and sad and tragic may have happened here. All right, let's see what this is all about. Ooh, wow. Gosh, some major crazy energy here, you guys, with the tower. I mean, the tower is a pretty intense, tragic card for sure. Tower is connected to Mars, which is connected to the signs of Aries, but as well as Scorpio. So Scorpio energy is very intense. Aries is also very intense. So for me, it's like the end of the road here. It's, it says the closing act, it's, or act, it's the final stage. Some sort of tower, some sort of structure in this masculine's life has come crumbling down. So this is a tower moment, dark night of the soul combo here. It's a tragedy, but I do, or I am seeing here, it is for a restructuring for this masculine. Can he erect a stronger person? Will he actually make changes, you know? Sometimes people do and sometimes they don't. So I do feel like this masculine is being given an opportunity to humble himself and to make necessary changes with this tragedy or whatever has taken place here. So let's go ahead and get a couple more cards. This is, oh, by the way, you guys, this is my Winds of Fortune deck. And this particular deck um, is out of print right now. Um, I don't know why I did that. I think it's because it wasn't really like the greatest seller. And I think it's because a lot of people don't know how to use this deck, but I might bring it back up.
Okay, so we do have the two of spades. It says lack of control, complaining, playing the victim, and negative headspace. Very interesting. So I'm just going to be dead honest with you guys. This particular masculine might still be in this stage where he's not willing to take responsibility completely for his actions. That's what I'm seeing here. So it's kind of like, um, cause it does say playing the victim, right? Um, a negative headspace where we're still not in that headspace to kind of take responsibility and see, you know, how we may have attributed to our, our particular problems. Right. So I feel like a lesson is trying to be, um, you know, like absorbed, but it's not 100% there just yet. This to me is like the two of swords energy. And so that two of swords is like a little stuck. So right now it seems like the ma masculine, I'm not saying like he has to suffer, but it may be that the longer that he stays in this victim mentality, the longer he's going to suffer and not absorb this particular lesson. It may even be that he's trying to hold on to something or make something work that's clearly not working. So that can also prolong suffering too. Okay. So let's see what else, what else is tied to this? This could be a job. This could be an, a relationship. This could be an addiction. This could be anything. We have judgmental. So it says issues, unkind and inner crisis. Okay. I do feel like perhaps the masculine may have made some assessments in the past or may have been even a little judgmental um, over other people or their circumstances. And sometimes when we do that, it's interesting the way that the universe will kind of put us in situations where we have an opportunity to be a victim to, uh, you know, maybe be, you know, uh, oppressed in some way. So we understand how it was or is for other people. And so I feel like this masculine has been put in situations where he may have really just very unkindly or unjustly judged other people for, you know, doing this or doing that. So there's some sort of a crisis that he is now going through. And again, this is for humbling purposes. It is to humble his soul. It is to help him to see that, um, you know, everybody really is made of the same thing. And so it's just, you know, tools that we have. I just feel like there's some sort of situation here for him to learn what it feels like to be on the other end. That's what I'm seeing here. So I feel like there's some karma definitely playing out here. What else? Ooh. All right, we have the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles, it says left behind. Um, there is a series, of course, that is called the Left Behind series. It's a Christian-based series. It's kind of interesting. Um, you know, it's a really, it's like super scary, you know, the books and then the movie. I think Kirk Cameron was uh, star starting those films. But, you know, the whole thing is, you know, it's just like a judgment day, basically, you know, um, God coming in and just destroying the world and, and only taking the saved and this and that. Very scary stuff, right? So I kind of feel like there's a little bit of this energy here. Um, as in karma, there is a consequence for actions in the book, in the movie, there's a consequence for not, you know, accepting uh, Jesus Christ as your savior. I'm not promoting that here at all. I'm just saying this is the book. This is the plot. And I feel like there is something that this masculine did not accept. He did not accept responsibility. He did not, he did, he, so he's having to pay the price now. Or, or, or he's just recently like, you know, this has, crisis has kind of shit has hit the fan <laughs> is what I'm seeing here. I'm not trying to laugh about it, but it's some kind of situation like that. And the five of pentacles means being shut out and left out in the cold, feeling like we've been completely left behind, you know? And sometimes we can jump into that state of it's not fair. Um, and I feel like this might be where the masculine is kind of struggling right now. It's not 100% seeing that there was something that he may have attributed to his current circumstances. So I feel like this is something that's still being played out, which is why it's coming through. And the what karmic cycle is your divine masculine working on releasing at this present time? He's working on figuring this out right now. It's not a completed karmic cycle just yet. Okay. Right, let's see what else. 
Okay, so we do have the four of diamonds. It says, what's the catch? Hidden motive, suspicion, feeling trapped. Okay, very interesting. This to me is kind of like the four of pentacles. So it's kind of like, you know, we can loosen the grip a little bit. We can be a little bit more even-minded with our circumstances. Uh, we don't have to hoard. We can actually spend a little money. Uh, we don't have to be so fearful. So I just feel like this masculine right now is kind of questioning, like, what's this all about? Why is this happening to me? You know, but again, feels still trapped by these circumstances, doesn't like to feel on the bottom, doesn't like to feel left out, doesn't like to feel like he's not in complete and total control. So there's some sort of a lesson around that. Okay, so it is very shocking to this masculine that he's in these circumstances. Appalling, foul, disgusting. Um, I almost feel like his ego, he feels very dissed. He feels very shaken up by what's just recently happened to him. So it might be that maybe he's lost a job. It might be that someone turned the tables around on him and gave him a little dose of his own medicine. Maybe the way that he was judgmental or the way he judged somebody in the past has just recently happened to him. So he's kind of a little shocked. So the ego is just like, <laughs> nobody does that to me. That's what I'm picking up on here. So this is going to be a real uh, shakeup of the ego that the masculine is currently experiencing right now. So it's quite shocking that this has happened, but I feel like it in a way has given the masculine a run for his money. Okay, so we do have the seven of rage, which is the seven of wands energy. We can either fight this, right? And just continue to push the lesson away or we can absorb it or absorb that lesson and do what we can to work through it. So I feel like this, of course, is where free will comes in. We're either going to learn from this or we're not going to learn from it. So it, it is completely up to the masculine at this point what he's going to do. But this is the karmic cycle he's currently caught up in. All right, let's see what else. Okay, so we have this one too. Okay, we do have the eight of uh, diamonds. It says limitation, avoid contracts. The answer is no. Red means stop. Very interesting. So there is some sort of situation where he does have to stop running. Okay, he has to stop running and he has to stop pretending that there's no problem or just refusing to look at maybe himself as there could be some sort of issue within so it's, it's kind of, it's like, you know, when, when you don't like something, the easiest thing, like you don't want to feel a certain way, you run away from it. You don't want to feel that. You don't want to face it. And I feel like that's kind of where this masculine is at. It's like deep down inside in a way, knowing that your behavior is either disgusting and foul or maybe even appalling, but it's kind of like, you don't want to face that. You don't want to deal with that. So it's just kind of easier to just pretend that maybe everyone else is the problem. I feel like there's this huge shakeup right now for the ego. That's what I'm seeing here. So he will either limit himself and avoid these contracts that are trying to teach him something, right? Or he is going to stop the fight and absorb the lessons. That's what I'm seeing. Let's get one more round. Oh, wait, I need to get this, uh, here we go, the shadow energy here. Okay, so we have excuses, stall, justification, plea, yeah. Uh, right now, the masculine, I feel, is in his mind space, like in his mental space, where he is trying to rash, like ration, rationalize why this is happening to him. Okay, but it's again, this is just stalling. It's like kind of playing like victim, like why is this happening to me? Think about it, think about it, think about it. That's what I'm getting from spirit. Spirit is trying to help this masculine to see something here. See where he's limited. See where he needs to stop a certain behavior. Some red flag right now is being given to this masculine for him to look at so we can stop engaging in this particular behavior, whatever this is, okay? I feel like he can become a stronger person from this or he can continue to make excuses. Of course, that will be his choice. Okay, I kind of like this because we do have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is a card of, to me, this is like spirit. Again, the masculine has free will, but spirit is really trying to pull him to the very edge and overpower him in the sense for him to see that you cannot 
continue to live your life in this way. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help humanity at large. And it certainly isn't going to do this particular connection any favors either. So he has to give in to the he has to give in to the light is what I'm seeing here. Instead of continuously just kind of indulging in the darkness of himself, the shadow, you know, just overindulging, making excuses, treating people a certain way and not taking responsibility to me, that's all um, darkness, basically. And it's easy to operate in the darkness because you could just do whatever you want and you don't have a care for anybody else but yourself. A lot of people live that way. And I feel like this masculine has an opportunity to kind of overpower this mindset that, to be quite frank, we all have this shadow. We all have these things within us, whether we tap into them or not and use them or misuse them is a free will choice. So I do feel like the masculine right now is in this, in this space where he can put a stop to this and say, no more, I can no longer continue to live my life in this way. It's not fulfilling. It's not helpful and it certainly doesn't spread any light all it continues to do is spread darkness so the next card would be the ten of wands which means the masculine is ready to let this go so i think it is very interesting that we did have this nine and ten energy eight nine ten i feel like he's on the tail end of this karmic cycle about ready to close up and absolve or not absolve but yeah absorb this lesson and absolve himself of this karmic debt that's what i'm seeing here so hope that makes sense now we're going to go ahead and continue on here with the second uh, question, which is in what ways will this affect how this masculine perceives you and this connection moving forward, Divine Feminine? So let's see how this actually helps. In what ways is this masculine absolving these lessons of this karmic cycle and paying this karmic debt? How is that going to affect the way he perceives you in this connection. This is my Divine Love Inspiration Counterpart Messages deck. Okay, my soul is burning with desire for you. So that's very interesting. So this tells me here that if this masculine can clear away a lot of this debris, a lot of this karmic heaviness and just, just kind of dense energy, he can actually start to plug into the passion that he is still feeling for you, Divine Feminine, the things that light him up, the things that inspire him. And since the two of you are connected, naturally you guys inspire each other. So I feel like wherever this masculine has been, this dark place, it's like he hasn't been able to properly connect connect with that energy to kind of help to motivate him in order to live his best life. So I love that we're seeing that. All right, let's go into my Twin Flame Journey Oracle. We have summer and I love this because summer is all about warmth. We have the months June, July, and August, so that could be significant as far as maybe when this particular divine masculine decides to act and, you know, participate with you feminine in a more uplifting and light way, okay? So the way that he perceives you in this connection moving forward, it looks to me like it's shifting into more of the light. We're going from the moon's energy to the light. Some, a lot of things are coming to light. Uh, the sun also represents action, masculine energy, confidence, but also positivity, feeling alive, wanting to do things, take action, etc. So I like that. All right, let's go into my twin flame journey tarot and see how else this affects the way he perceives you and this connection feminine. I really like that too. Magician, manifestation tools. This is about taking some sort of action. Now, the magician is connected to Mercury and Mercury is all about communication. So this could be a little bit of a prediction, um, a little look into the future that the, the uh, months June, July, or August, and that doesn't have to be summer for everybody in the world, but those months are still the same. So June, July, and August could be that this masculine actually uses the tool of the sword in order to come through and to explain to you that he has some sort of life left in this connection for you and feels something enough to where he wants to perhaps go another round with you or just at least 
strike up that conversation, perhaps work on what was lost or what was broken or whatever your story might be. But I feel like this is somebody that is taking control in the situation and making something happen. And I feel it's definitely connected to communication. So this closing up this karmic cycle, coming from the dark to the light, it's going to affect this masculine feeling like he he has desire in order to reach out to you and make something happen. So I feel like that's a positive all the way around. All right, let's see what else. Okay, we have chill, accept what is right now. To me, this is throwing you a line, okay? And it's not gonna come in the form of like this desperate, crazy, you know, emotional type of thing. It, it does come with the chill vibe. Okay, kind of like I'm going to throw it out to you and I'm not going to be worried whether you're going to get back to me or not. I'm just going to accept it. You either will or you won't. And I actually think that that's the best form to be in whenever you're kind of putting yourself out there. Because if you have expectations and they're dashed, you're going to be pissed at yourself that you bothered to put yourself out there and be vulnerable. So I really like that we're seeing this chill energy. But I definitely feel like he's throwing you some sort of a line, a line of communication, June, July, and August. At least that's what it's showing us here. All right, let's see what else. Oh, wow, look that. Fresh start, reestablish, new and refresh. So I feel like this is just kind of reiterating what we're already seeing here. And that's really the magician is number one. So it means we're at the beginning stages of something. We are actually putting um, our energy and time towards a fresh start, this new beginning, kind of reestablishing perhaps, you know, um, levels of communication or maybe new boundaries, etc. Wow, nine of cups, satisfaction and wish fulfillment. By the way, this is connected to Gemini, which is June, okay? So that could be highlighted here. But uh, nine of cups, of course, is a wish fulfillment card. Um, it's many things. It means we're feeling pretty good. We're feeling pretty good um, about ourselves. We're feeling confident. We're feeling happy with ourselves. And so usually when you're in that sunny disposition, feeling really good and you come in, people are going to feel that vibration. So I feel like it is a chill. I don't really necessarily expect anything. Um, I'm willing to accept whatever outcome comes about, but I'm, I do hope that I hope for the best, but I'm okay with whatever happens basically. So I feel like it's going to be a nice, just stable, um, just not matter of fact, I do feel like this masculine will be in his emotions, but it's not going to be an unhinged, it's not going to be um, manipulative or guilt or any of those things. I just feel like it's coming in or coming up with a like a nice high vibration is what I'm seeing this communication is going to be. And of course, you know, what ways does this affect how this masculine sees you? He sees that he wants you. He sees that you're, you would bring him a lot of satisfaction to be with you would be very satisfactory, that you are some sort of a wish come true for him and that he wants another opportunity to refresh this entire thing. So this is how this karmic cycle is affecting him in a positive way. We have self-worth and I do like this too because it says I love when you shine bright for all to see. This masculine is really shining bright in the sun's energy. So this tells me for sure and confirms that he has transitioned from this dark state to this lighter state. And that's why he's able to come through with this fresh energy and with that nine of cups feeling really good. We have inner child. To me, that's kind of like the fool, right? It's this endearing innocence and enthusiasm. So there's this opportunity to start fresh and start new, kind of go back to the, you know, the way that you guys were before, but a like a better version of that child, you know, to recapture that romance, to recapture the magic. So this masculine has something tied to you, feminine, where he feels like himself. He feels like he can grow with you. He feels like he can also learn a lot from you. And, and I think that's a very admirable energy. Sees your worth now. Maybe he was not able to see it before. Um, but he's seeing things differently because of a lot of things he's gone through. So he's able to be more loving towards you this next time around. 
Yeah, look at that. And that is due to the fact of that karmic lesson that he went through or is currently going through. That was a big one left behind. That was the most significant karma for me, um, which is like tied to the plot of just the tragedy, right? Of that, of that movie of being left behind. So I do feel like that particular karmic lesson is one of the main reasons that this masculine is experiencing such huge growth and ascension. So I do feel at least the way that it looks to me in the reading is that he will um, absorb the lessons. He will do the work. He will get out of that mental state of either blaming or not taking responsibility. So when you're isolated and alone, you are going to do a lot of self-reflection and, and work on the self. So I do feel like this is definitely happening here. Also too, even though this is really about how he's seeing you feminine or how he perceives you, I feel like he's perhaps going back all the way to even his childhood and the way that he was raised and kind of doing some inventory in that department and kind of seeing that maybe that has created issues for him in all of his relationships, including yours. And so there's some sort of um, work that's being done or will be done in the future that is also going to assist him or aid him in that healing. And that's a really good thing. So it's go ahead and get one more set of cards to see how all these karmic cycles and lessons and darkness are actually um, affecting the masculine in a positive way with how, with how he sees you or may interact with you in the future. We have destiny. All of our roads lead back to each other. So of course, how this affects this masculine is that he feels pulled to reconnect with you once again, because you are a part of his destiny. He feels like there's something that he needs to complete with you. Something is unfinished. There's something that's calling him back towards you. So this affects him with this mystery of, I need to figure out where this leads. I need to figure out, you know, is this meant to be? So there's this pull towards you, feminine, that he also experiences after this karma. And we have vibrations energy, sensitivity, and wavelength. Wow. Um, it could be that there's a lot of music that starts to pop up for him or that pops up for you that is basically giving both of you guys signs that there is some sort of a road like that's going to be crossing over and you guys are going to meet back up, you know, somewhere down the line. So I feel like there's change in the horizon here. There's a change of, of the, your roads. They're going to cross. Your paths are going to cross again. Yeah. Karmic. Uh, wow. Okay. So karmically, I feel like you guys both maybe had to go off on your own road in order to find yourselves or figure something out and before you guys could get on the same wavelength. And now that all this has taken place, these karmic cycles, these lessons, and all this ascension now that's available, I feel now your roads can cross. And why? because of this lovers this is the twin flame contract this was a part of your twin flame contract was to you know choose yourselves so you could choose each other down the line so we have twin flame connection with the lovers this is also gemini's card so i do feel like june is significant for your connection Maybe in June, there's that may be when your paths cross. It might be when you hear from this masculine, um, this headphones, this is energy. You might feel the energy very strongly with one another. See, we have the um, third eyes connected. So there's a lot of telepathy that's taking place, but there's something about music or feeling the vibration of your twin flame, even though you guys might not be physically together right now. So continue to tune into that vibration and um, I, I, that frequency, basically, of, of your twin flame to kind of know um, basically when your paths are going to cross again. So I kind of feel like you don't even necessarily need to watch a reading to kind of predict to you when this is going to happen. You're just going to know that something is on the horizon. You're going to feel it on a soul level is what I'm seeing here. But this masculine, the way that he's affected and the way that he perceives you, he sees you as his counterpart. He sees you as the one he's meant to be with. 
that's what his energy, that's what his soul is telling him. That's where this all leads to next. Wow, pretty intense stuff, you guys. So we're gonna go over into the extended and this is what we're gonna cover. What information is spirit downloading to this masculine specifically about you and your connection? Also, in what ways does your own ascension and current vibration, interesting, impact your divine masculine? What communication and action is your divine masculine most likely to take towards you next? We know that's coming and the most significant months, interesting that already showed up too, for major changes to your connection this year. So let's go ahead and dive deep into that. If you guys would like to join me over there, I'll put that link down below where you guys can access that extended reading. And thank you guys so much again for choosing to be here. I really appreciate it. All right, you guys, take care. Bye-bye.